Hey, you tourists, it's your boy Domination. This is Back of the Basic. Chug of the Deuces, our text baby man. That's back, you know, this it is. Real man, Rasta, fake man, Rasta. Real Rasta, fake man, Rasta. I'm going to say it once, I'm going to say it again. Real man, Rasta, fake man, Rasta. Real woman, Rasta, fake woman, Rasta. Rasta, I preach and preach on. I want to address this. It's going to be the most controversial, most. Not the most controversial, but the most. Most, most the most talk about most talk about videos of controversy talk about in a long time we need to talk about hollywood man the the racism that's going on in hollywood if you don't believe me there's racism going on in hollywood i'm going to show you these movies that's coming out on these these bio these 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 pick these picked movies man let's look at the okay Okay, let's look at the slavery movies. The slavery movies, man. You see a lot of slavery movies. You see one, you see all of them. Let's look at slavery movies right here. And I'm going to show you. These are the slavery movies. Slave 2009. King Kano 2015. Slavery in 2012. And Cotterly in... 1931 and Rodney of 1970 and Birth of the Nation. That is the that did you know that's Hollywood first movie right there? Birth of the Nation. Matter of fact, fuck the Birth of the Nation. That that film, I will never want to see that film because all was about the South laws and the North ones. Basically, it was about the Union and Confederate. Look at the word Confederate. It means Conrad by oaths. It goes back to the story of the three musketeers, four musketeers. And there's a guy who wrote the story about musketeers. His dad was a, a Haitian Revolution military soldier. And he was related to that guy. His name is Alzit Dumbman or something like that because his father is totally dumb. One, one of them, you could go look this up. It's part of your history or not. Please look that up. He's mixed with black and white, and he wrote the story Three Musketeers. All of this is based on about the Knight Templars. You you can do your research. Look, because they came up with the slogan. It's, it started in French, but it says that Gono and Cardic or something like that. It's in French. It means all for one and one for all. All for one, one for all. I can't speak French. Speak a little bit. All for one and one for all. And basically, this white woman is symbolized to represent the pure Aryan race to save the white race from being this savage eyed, savage obesity of blacks. Basically, in other words, neglect, neglecting on the white woman and rape and destroy the white race. I mean, I tell you, you, you know, I don't know. In, in, any white man and any white woman buy into this bullshit, you a fool. And that goes to black people as, as well, buy into this. But I'm going to talk about that with the actual term slavery in a minute, and you're going to find out what it means. The birth of the nation in 2016 is about Ted, 2016, about Ted Turner. He was a, a free black slave being learned and read and write by white people. And he saw his people being scrutinized and scrutiny of his people. In order way to get back at the white people, he started killing these folks. But they put, but guess what? The, the those that powerful be put them in death. They put them in death. They murdered them. So, for it won't be no this white killing by blacks, but black blacks being killed by by by, by killed by whites. I think everybody needs to stop killing each other as far as that goes. Look at these slavery movies and tell me. It's always do a movie about slavery. Ask yourself why. If, if they never talk about white slavery unless it was a movie called Braveheart. Now, slavery people, that was, the pick the pick the slavery movie, can, every race was, every race been slaves before. Okay? That's true. Now, this movie right here, Apocalypse, as the Malas King Kingdom f face its 
declare, declare a young man is taking on a purely a journey to a world ruled by a fear and oppression. When you hear people say, are depressed and we're depressor, are our oppressor, we're depressed. What, what you're saying is you, you being impressization by them. You want to look and admire of these people that you've been depressed upon. And then, and, and they can be impressed by that. I did not know Mel Gibson uh, direct this movie. And matter of fact, let me say something about Mel Gibson. Let me say something about this man. This is the same Mel Gibson basically told his wife, I hope you've been raping by a pack of niggas. Yeah, he really said that. So that says a lot about how Mel Gibson felt. And he knows better for him to sit there and say, and this is the same guy that never liked Danny Glover. He never liked him. Any of that movie from, from, from the movie called Legal Weapon. I never understand, but, but I know why, because he's black. What else? He worked with him. So hell with Mel gives it his crazy, insane, sane and ass. And and this movie right here, Twelve Years of Slavery. Let me tell you something about this film. Let me get this straight. You mean to tell me it's the unaudible United States, that's what it's about. Solomon North Up, a free black man from upstate New York, is donated and sold in, into slavery. So let me get this straight. You mean to tell me he was a free black man, right? He was brought back to slavery. And this is a black British director, Steve McQueen. And who wrote this? Who wrote this movie? John Riddle And the screenplay by Solomon North Up, based on the 12 year slavery by the star. And who the stars of these movies? Of this movie? Um, Chadwick Morgan Connick. I can't pronounce his name. I know he's African. Michael. Kennedy Williams and, and Michael Fernley Benner, ben something like that. And, 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 and this is what the movie is all about. Biopic, drama, and history. But I'm going to explain to you what the term slavery meant and what is the actual meaning all behind the world. Oh yeah, white people got a lot of explaining to do because they got some black relatives they can't talk to in 500 fucking years. I wonder why. You've been interact with them for 500 years, so what's stopping you now? Oh, we need them to make more money for us because we too lazy to do it our own damn selves. And going to the wind, only thing I'm going to say about this goddamn movie is about, I, I never liked this movie. And I'm going to tell you why I don't like this movie. Because what's so sad about it, they got a black woman who's a maid and clean white folks' houses. But they were too damn lazy to clean up their house. Fuck this movie. Gone in the wind. Are you serious? Are you fucking serious? You you green like this bullshit. And then you got you, then you got other movies. See, these are white movies. White depression when they be enslaved by white people. And Cloud uh uh, uh Cloud Alance. If if y'all don't know what a quote unquote Alance they they prefer to Alantis. They're talking about a lost city but has been gone missing for 900,000 and 10,000 years. There's no document, a document, documentized proof if this land existed or not. Now, that movie, Crash, is a good movie because it talks about uh, Los Angeles relatives with the vow of separate lives and, 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 and clashing in the inner in ways and stories of race, loss, and, re, and redemption. It was. The press against blacks, the press against uh, 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 Latinos and Asians and, and, and Arabs. Yeah. If you, and even though there's white slavery. Because the term slavery actually came from white people. They were the original slaves. They've been depressed by the, the, by the, uh, the Olmecs Turks all the Moors, whatever you want to call them. Even when the movie called Robin Hood. I just saw this movie about, I don't know when I saw it. I think I saw it two, you know, I saw it last year. You could say that much. Now, a war heartily of, war heart, war heartily knit, war heartily knit crusades. Look at the word crusades. It goes back to the Templars. And his Moorish 
Commissioner mourned a adequate uh, correct rebel uh, rebel against the corrupted I I English crown. Basically, in other words, they are oppression of the Irish people. White people fight against white people, and then blacks fight against whites and whites against blacks, and you and the list goes on. You know, there's Moorish. Yeah, there are black or Moors, or they rule Europe from 700 years. So that explains it why they call it 7-Eleven. Yeah, I'm not. I'm, Harriman Tuffman, man. Let me tell you something about Harriman Tuffman. Did you know Harriman Tuffman had to sleep with white men in order to get the t claim the, the claim of her freedom? This is somebody who don't want to talk about this. A lot of people got mad at Russell Simmons when he made a sex mockery video about her. But it does happen if you think about it. She even traded in her own people and sold her people out to honor the team to get her freedom. And what did she get out of it? Nothing. She even have her people got killed. So they're not telling full well truth about Harry Tuffman's story. They're not. They're not telling full truth. And then you got Lord of the Rings. Not Lord of the Rings. My bad. Plenty of the apes, basically. It, it's a racist-ass movie. It's always picked at black people as as apes it, it always have you know they always do these type of movies and always you got the uh 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 uh, 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 uh can, 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 damn it what this dude's name was conan the barbarian but you know who the real barbarians is it's us if you look at the word barber or barber shop is Berbered. It's blacks. The land of the Burbs, uh, the land of the Bur Bourbon people, or the land of the blacks. That's what the term, what actual term of the word son of Arabian people meant. Then you got t the legend of Tarzan about a white dude coming back home and communicate with animals. Think about it. A white dude, a white savior, here goes the white savior. They do this all the time in these movies. And, and I saw this movie. I didn't see it. Sorry to bother you. Man, are you serious? You got to be serious, right? It's in a in none of the a present day version of Oakland. Trying to mark it. A, a clash of screen discovered a me magical key to professional success and promoted him into a ultimate oh, oh, a, a universe of greed so you're trying to say that he's not willing to will admit to help up his people he only will to help up up him and help himself I'm, I'm, I'm not i'm not even going to answer that and then you got the underworld the the rise of the uh, like things uh, of the rise of, of the 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 like this whatever you want to call it it's about vampires slave the wolves yeah if you look at the urgent term wolf, it basically means hairy men. Hairy people. That's all it is. They grow hair. Men grow hair. And they said they said some females grow hair. And then vampires goes back to sucking in the veins, sucking the energy to try to maintain the tame to stay young again. That's all it is, folks. I'm and then the Matrix. The Matrix is a beautiful stranger leading computer hack ha, 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 hacker computer hack hacker neo to a forbidding underworld he discovered the shocking truth the life that he know is the predominant rate of this deceiving of a evil cyber intelligence yeah they want to control people's and manipulate and manipulate people's mind now then you got the gladiator a former uh, 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 Roman uh, uh, general set out to exact uh, 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 vengeance, vengeance against the corrupted uh, 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 emperor who murdered his family and sent him into slavery. Yeah, white depression, whites separation, whites being neglected, neglectedized their own race. Now they always do this, and then you got the the. <laughs> The interview with the vampire, the vampire chronicles. Yeah, look at this. If you look at the uh, the last Jedi new movie, the the w Star Wars Episode Seven, the last uh, uh, Jedi, 
is basically Ray is developing her newly discovered ability with the it, the, the guidance of Luke Skywalker. His is unsettled by the strengths of her her powers. Meanwhile, the resistance prepared for the battle with the First Order. Let me tell you something about the First Order, the Second Order, and the Third Order. It goes all the way back to the Ninth Templars, how the 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 Solomon's Temple basically. The Solomon Temple first one was destroyed. Then it, the second one destroyed. The third one it did not destroy. It was still standing a hold by the people from the Galactic and the Galactic bodies of the Church. People, why I'm showing this? I'm showing this because they always show him and picked it and picked it slavery movies. They always do this. But Birth of the Nation, it, that, that is one of the most ro racist movies i ever seen in my goddamn life. The racist movies. I'm going to explain to you what the term slavery and what it actually meant. Because they're not going to tell you this, what it really meant. Because what, 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 what get, me, get me heated up, we should have known this by now. That's what gets me. But we don't want to hear the truth no way. Look at the word. The terminology. The terminology. I'm not even going to ask. Because they know the truth. They know the truth, man. Here's what the term meant. The terminology. The word slavery is derived from the initiative of that the name Slav. S L S L A V. Slav. Is it it's delivered is the is derived in English and evolved in the older French as Slav in medieval Latin. The word was slaveness. And by the began of the Greek using of the word in a Rosalind and during the early medieval period, when the Slavs from the Central and Eastern Europe did you say did you hear them say Central and Eastern Europe, and the son of the the Slav become bots the Slav become bot it's like a, a language. Or quite a bit of enslaved by the Moors. Did you hear them say by the Moors from the Canada and Pennsylvania and Canada, some area, and North Africa? A old terrestrial connection, slave to the Greek, suburb and suburb to strip a state of enemy. This is what it means. It's unfree laborment. Or enslave a person. In other words, you working with someone else instead of working with yourself. See, you got bond, bond labor, chatter slavery, who been in the same captivity as you is, or not in captivity, they've never been slaved. They were free and doing their own thing. And then you got the depend dependent on pen, dependent independent. They pin it on themselves or pin it on somebody else. And then forced labor, you force somebody that don't want to do anything that they don't want to do. So you force them and they, for they able to lose a job or lose a life. And then forced marriage makes you to, to get people in love when they're not in love with that person. We need to look up this term slavery because people will never tell you what it really meant. And I'm, I'm sick and tired of the bullshit stories that I hear from my folks always talking about how the white man is evil, right? But you know how long we interact with white people for 500 years. That's how long we interact with them. 500 years. Like, when this shit ever going to end? Really? It, it never seems to amaze me. But I'm going to show you something. I'm going to show you something at the... At the uh, hold on. I'm going to show you something. Hey, man. I tried to find it, man. It was in there, but it's not. It's not. Okay. The stereotypes. Stere stere stereotypes in Hollywood. Because there's a lot of stereotypes. There's a lot of stereotypes in Hollywood movies. Before I wrap this up. It, it is. Some truth about the movies. And some not. And this is goes out to all other races. Of stereotypes of these movies. Look at these movies. And tell me those are not stereotypes. Yeah, they've been doing it for years. What Hollywood movies doing to predicament of the racial stereotypes? The common uh, uh, um, amount of stereotypes reflect and shaping of the common prejudice. 
it, it, and particularly it can be influenced by portrayal of the Asians as nerdy nerds, black men as dangerous, and Latino men as as fury, fiery. So, how do Hollywood portray variety v- v- of groups? Yeah, they does. They do it all the time. You got Mickey Rooney play uh, a, a movie called Mr. Han and Chi in Breakfast, Breakfast in T- at Tiffany's. When the movie called uh, the last um, Bruce Lee, st- the, 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 the the Bruce Lee story, the dragon, the dragon, the Bruce Lee story, whatever. When Bruce Lee went to this movie and saw how Asians are being picked, he wasn't laughing when he with his woman. And his woman was felt bad for him because how Asians are being seen as a mockery, mockinized people with this whole uh, speak, unspeaking, glaring, and glaring speaking. Me no need to need. They, they hate that. They always see it as, as, as bringing chicken wings and fried rice. They always portray Asians like that. Then they look at them as as, as as they've been alienized by society. They're being seen as all they know is martial art hero movies and something else. How Asian women being daggers, dragon ladies carrying daggers, starts throwing daggers at people, throwing spikes. They always do this. The stereotypes about Asians are a predicament of common until the 60s. The yellow pencil, yellow, yellow pencil. They do do that. The yellow face, Asians, big squeak, English, yeah, Asian and nerd, and currently in change in Asian culture, mighty whitey, mellow yellow. Yep, trying to fit in with the with the white people, but couldn't fit in within his own self as an Asian person, his own people, and proud acknowledgement that he's Asian. All Asian knows martial arts. Martial arts. Not all of them. Some do. Some don't. Asian store owners and identified as a- looking Asians. They always do this in every damn movie. But and they always pick the Asians how they can never get a woman, can never get a girl. Some some Asians can get a girl. And why the hell every time when they make a movie about Dragon Ball Z or Naruto, they always have to have a Caucasian a pyramid to play Asians characters. And if you look at um, Naruto, you look like a Caucasian. Or mixed with uh, uh, mixed with Japanese and mixed with Swedish descent. Look at him. Except Sasuke, he's chi- he's chi- he's Japanese. And then look at Sara, she's a white lady, white woman. Look at that. And there's some Asians parts in there and there's some black parts characters and some Asian parts. But they never put full Asian. You notice that, right? Look at Dragon Ball Z, for example. Do they look Asian to you, especially Goku? Even though they they they, they supposed to be Japanese, but they appear as Caucasians ca- counterparts. That's something to think about. They always do that to anime, especially Asians. Asians always uh, draw drawment of these so-called characters, how they supposed to be appeared as Asians, but they're not. And here's what I hate right here, man. This is what I hate right here. They wasn't lying. The black character dies first. Ain't that the truth? As with Asian, black characters often wasn't playing by black people in the early days of Hollywood. In effect, they barely appeared at all. You ain't kidding. Expect as the characters are played by white actors in blackface, fuck a blackface. I hate when they do this. They have some white person that put the blackface on to make appear there's blacks. No, and it's not. But let it be whiteface, like that movie from uh, Wayne Bros. Somebody gonna get offended. Trust me. When the Wayne Brothers movie called uh, uh, White Chicks, they didn't, white people didn't find that funny. They didn't like it. But it's funny, these are the same motherfuckers who picked their blacks for years, but when somebody did it to them, they don't like it. Don't do it to them, and they and, and and they won't do it to you. How about that? No more black faces, no more white faces. Get some Asian parts, get some black parts, and get some white parts that actually play the part of their race, and not play a typical stereotypes. That's a problem. This is practice or origin in the American the, the, the American theaters and the tr- tradition of mystery in which racist uh, racist stereotypes about blacks. Or as Stripe Lee. Yeah. 
Blackface have th this. Th th blackface have this. Th this this class. Blackface have this this cash. Yeah, blackface has this cash, but black characters still died first in Hollywood. Scary black man. Black dude died first. A black best friend. Ain't that the truth? They talk about the token black person that never been around a lot of white, uh, black people. He been around nothing but whites and trying his best to try to fit in. The sassy black woman. Yeah. Don't take no nonsense. I'm a strong black woman. Mm hmm. Snap the finger. They always do this. Always. The black face is so offensive, but not be too black. You could be friendly black, but don't be no scary black. You know, you might scare white people. Come on, folks. They always do this shit. Always, always. Yep. And they ain't lying when they said about Africa. I'm not going to read all. I'm going to read some of it. Okay, let's read this. But at Hollywood have a featured more black characters and, 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 and cast more black actors. It, 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 it has also... Phrasonize other stereotypes. To this day, black men are, are are often portrayed as scary or angry, and black women as a loudmouth sassy. Yep. If a movie feature one token black character, it's more likely to be the black best friend. I hate when they do this. And if people died in a movie, the black character is still Likely to go first. Uh-huh. Ain't that true? Watch the movie called The Scary Movie. Uh, the series Scary Movie. Um, part 2 or whatever. And remember there was a part they was talking about. They was going to, you know, take each part to split up. And the black woman was like, wait a minute, hold up. Why is it always some shit always happen? You white people always talk about let's split up. Let's stick together. And they still did it anyway. Get the three white people split right along with each other and leave the three blacks alone together. And and then that's when 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 uh uh Sean Wayne's like, ain't that a bitch? Martin Martin Wayne's say that. Ain't that a bitch? We gonna die, yo. We gonna die. They was scared and all that. But as soon as there was part when the white girl was being uh castrated, about to be killed, they like, oh, I hope this white bitch will die. Man, if you look at the movie, they always pick that blacks died first. I hate when they do that in fucking horror movies. If it was million blacks, oh, they would fight back or they fucking leave and kill that motherfucker. At least I give up the Buster Rhymes, what Michael Myers ass. That was the one of the worst uh movies. From um, Michael Myers series. I ain't gonna lie. But Buster made sure he ain't died in that movie. He gonna kick some ass. But that's fucked up. They kill Tyra Banks and off the film. Off the movie. They, they, they do this all the time. They do this all the time. They never leave the, uh, the, uh, the black character alive. They have to die first. If it ain't a black man or a black woman. They always do this. If Africa. Okay here it is. Oh, okay I ain't finished this one. Okay. If a movie feature one token black person, okay, I read that. If, if people died, them, okay, the black girl, okay. And even when an, an awareness of racial uh, 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 stereotype rise, Hollywood resisted with do, those uh, 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 ropes. Yeah, they ain't lying. If Africa is featured, it's dangerous and untouched by civilized. Yep. Hollywood stereotypes of depicted of black people most mostly prefer to black Americans. And totally that are about Africans or or rear. Partly because few Hollywood movies have black uh, have African characters. The most common untruly about Africa, which is I mean, about Africa, thought is what the TV tr tr uh, tr Trudeau uh, uh, users have undoubtedly the dark, dark darkest Africa. Movies portrayed the continent as a mysterious and dangerous isolation land with only limit try to modern civilize. Modern, modern, uh, modern civilization, I mean, and the pictures have become less common. However, yeah, they don't want to go to the continent. They, be, they they're so scared to go to Africa. 
I wouldn't be scared to go to Africa. I'd just go. It might be some parts is bad, but some parts is good. They don't know nothing about the motherland, even if they went there. But they never picked a Europe this bad place. Only West, the only way, if they picked it to be stereotype or a satanicism or can't connect it with their European roots. They kind of did. If I look at the movie called Euro Trip, and you will see what I'm talking about. Latino characters are defined by their sexual uh, 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 appeal. That, that's very true. Latinos are the largest and this is a minority in the U.S. making up around 18% of the population. A, a look at 2.682 movies. Since the year 2000 found the truth about Latino characters focus most often on their sexual appeal for women. This translates as the spicy uh, Latina. And the truth is, and in terms of, of, of Trump t t temperament, who can hold her own and always look sexy. Yep, the spicy Latino and the Latin lover. They always portray that. It, it, uh, Latino is brown and, 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 and dashing high, high Hispanic. Yeah, they always do this. They do, yeah. They always pick the Germans as the Nazis. Yep, they always do that and make Germans like they are horrified, horrible meant people. They do Russians like that. Russians been known for not smiling, even though that's not true. They can smile. It depends if they like you or not. And 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 Germans love David Hasselhoff. Yeah, not all of them, but some of them. And not every Nazis are Nazis. Not not every Germans. Not all Germans are Nazis. Because the word Nazi comes from the kids Gnostic Jews. You can go look it up. No aiming at the Jews, I'm just saying. Because then you can look at the term with me. And have we, in that law, all scientists are Germans. That's that's a stereotype. Not all Germans are, are sci scientists. Some can be scientists and some are not. The British inducted of in, uh, evil, yep. Evil Brit, fake Brit, yep. M mean Brit, Brit, Brit the suffering this. I am very British and post at British access. Britain is only London. No, that's not true. That's the U, 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 that's the UK, the United Kingdom. White people got stereotypes too. Russians tough or rough and play by non-Russian people who are not Russian. They're supposed to play for the people who are Russian, but people who are play non-Russian. They always do that. The m mother Russia make you strong. The Russian guys suffer most. And the fake Russian, regulate Russian, mm-hmm. That Russian square dance, yeah, they, they think every Russian do the dance. <laughs> that's, a, that's a stereotype. That is not true. Not all that, Russians just like to dance like any other people. That That's not true. That is a stereotype, how they picked it, Russians. But you can read this and tell yourself. I'm going to tell you something. The worst movie I hate in Hollywood ever comes out, that movie called The Butler. That, oh my God, that's one of the hardest movies ever. Showing a black man serving nine presidents. So let me get this straight. You mean to tell me his people are being being, being executed, axonized, and he ain't asking this president, hey man. I don't mean to be rude. I don't want to lose my position, but please, I want to do something. I want you to do something for my people. My people are suffering, man. I can't just sit back and let it happen. If it was a bunch of Jewish people, they'll get something to be done to kill all the Jewish people. They wouldn't allow it. But ask yourself this, man. I hate Butler and that goddamn movie called um, The Help. That bullshit move. Are you fucking serious? They are paying this two black maids five dollars. You mean to tell me you won't pay them five thousand dollars to help this white lady wrote a book? But yet she get five thousand dollars. Y'all know something is wrong. And I'm gonna tell you something else. They need to ban these slavery movies. I am dead serious. Hollywood Burn. Matter of fact, y'all need to look at that song Hollywood Burn by Public Enemy, and they was talking about how blacks are being picked in it and picking the net in it and picking stereotypes and not being accepted. Why you think Hollaberry won a war having sex with a racist? And then you got Denzel got shot in the ass, 
And the last time we talk, I'm sick of Tyler Perry movies wearing a damn dress and picking black females is overweight, sassy, loudmouth, and always angry and always abusing, abusing eyes to kids. People, we got a lot to change and we got a lot more to come, a lot more to grow, but we can be better picked to pick them into better people. No more stereotypes for Asians, Latinos, whites, and no more stereotypes of blacks. Some got to be done. Nothing else ain't going to get done. That's all I can say. Let's make something better for what we can make it better. If nothing's going to get better, nothing's going to get better if, 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 until it's make it better. For they can put a better pick to make how they see people in Hollywood. And hopefully that will change. You'll never know, but it will. Only time will tell. That's all I can say. It's your boy, Domination. This is back in the basic chunk of the distance. How I do Texas, baby. Until next time, all right? All right. Peace. Peace of them out. All right. Peace.